Hello, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. So I'm sure you heard last week it was kind of a big story. And even left-leaning magazines were or publications were criticizing this. But uh, it came known that Hunter Biden, among all of his other extracurricular activities, is also an artist. What a prolific young man. A very talented artist at that because he is going to have an art exhibition in New York City and some of his paintings are selling up to $500,000. So some of his paintings are selling for half a million dollars. And uh, I'm just going to read you just a a quick bit in the Wall Street Journal because even they were like, this is weird. Uh, (laughs) It says... As President Biden's son, Hunter, prepares for an art exhibition this fall that could include selling his paintings for prices up to $500,000, the White House is reportedly working with his attorney on a strategy to avoid ethical compromises. Here it is. Keep everything secret. Yes, for real. That's the plan. Uh, The New York Gallery hosting the sale media reports say will refuse suspicious offers, including those over list price. The names of those buyers and bidders will be kept confidential, even from Hunter. As the paintings sell, apparently hundreds of thousands of dollars will simply appear in his bank account, and neither he nor the public will know where it came from. So I'm going to show you what Jen Psaki had to say about it because she was questioned about this in the press room. Then give you an update on the art exhibition that you're definitely not going to want to miss. But here is what Jen Psaki had to say. You did hear that correctly. We need to keep it a secret for transparency. It's just, it's just not the best idea. And then the fact that the White House is sort of keeping it secret is even more not the best idea. And more people agree, I guess, because there is an update to this clown world. And that is this. Uh, Daddy war crimes. Activist, artist, detained for vandalizing Hunter Biden exhibit. So I'll tell you a little bit of what happened. And then there is some of this on video. Uh, welcome to the clown world. Authorities arrested Rod Weber, an artist and documentary filmmaker, for vandalizing a New York City gallery exhibiting Hunter Biden's artwork Friday. Weber filmed himself silently entering the George Burgess Theater, Burgess Theater, or Burgess Gallery, where he began to spray paint the words Daddy War Crimes on the gallery's wall. A witness of the incident immediately detained Weber from behind holding him with both arms and calling him a citizen's arrest. Uh, I think they mean peacefully vandalized. Uh, But anyway, I have a little bit of this and clipped it out for you a little bit. I'm at George Burgess Gallery here, otherwise known as the Hunter Biden Gallery. Hey, you're assaulting me. You're assaulting me, sir. You're dying here. Yeah. You're too fat for this. I am too fat for this. Yeah. (laughs) Explicitly clear uh, within the past couple of days uh, what was going on uh, with uh, George George Burgess or George Burgess, depending on how you say it, uh, gallery. Things were getting weird uh, with uh, Hunter Biden uh, being added on for half a million dollar pieces of work uh, when he hadn't produced any work himself. Now, I, I, I'm an artist. I got uh, pants covered in paint. I've also worked uh, as a pro se attorney. So we have that in common. Um, the difference is I've been an artist all my life, and I know you work hard to get to that point where you're selling a half million dollar painting. So uh, when that came out in the news, it, it struck me as a little bit weird. Um, And on top of the mountain of uh, egregious, uh, let's say, working with segregationists, um, writing the Patriot Act, uh, being pro-war, all the other things that Joe Biden has done throughout his career in life, all of these things, uh, in addition to what came out in the news recently, it just seemed to me that someone had to say something about it um, and do it in a meaningful way uh, that was a... A, a protest. Uh, it, it honestly didn't really seem that bad to me. It, he wasn't being 
violent and he said in the video at some point that it was actually washable hairspray that he sprayed uh, but we of course know that that's not peaceful this is peaceful peaceful and don't you forget it he was just making himself heard at the end of the day but I've never heard of him before apparently he's an artist and a filmmaker and he's sort of like a political artist provocateur or something along the lines he's done a lot of other things in the past I don't know what his political affiliation is I think he just kind of calls it all out but I just thought you might enjoy seeing that and uh, I will link to his channel below because it will have sorry it will have the the full video down there uh, and anyway let me know what you guys think about that and I'll see you later bye understand what peaceful is even when it smacks you in the face and burns your cities down. <sighs>